Okay, I can't wait to show you this latest training course that I'm doing on RealFlow 2014. So for anyone out there that doesn't know what RealFlow is, it's um, a dynamic simulation piece of software. So it allows you to create particles in order to create um, meshes that resemble whatever dynamics you're going for. In this case here, you can see that I'm actually animating a sort of fluid to come out and hit floor and go around this object here. So I brought this object here in from Maya and then I've got the actual uh, emitter pushing out from the object to show particles. So it's a very powerful piece of software. I'll just jump into a, another project that I've got. Let me just open up a new one and show you something else. This is what we'll be doing on the course. So we've got that jet one, we've got the D splines one. This is the end tutorial, which we'll be actually creating at the end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make uh, actual particles follow around a spline. Now, as you can see, it's quite complex this scene. We have lots of demons actually affecting the way this is working. And we have D splines to control where the fluid is actually going around this object. So very cool course. It's going to be blindingly good. Um, if you're interested in creating particles and simulation effects, then this is the course for you. So, yeah, just um, have a look at the first uh, first lecture in the course. It's a free preview, so you can have a look and uh, have a more of an overview of what we're going to be doing in the course. But if you're interested in simulations and particles, then this is a course for you. I've looked around on the internet and there isn't that much there's there's tutorials on showing you how to do certain things but they don't go into detail about how you actually use the system and make it a complete package and that's what I was trying to do with this course is I want to show you how to export import out of 3d applications such as Maya in this case it's Maya but you can do the same in 3d max as well and other applications that support real flow as plugins so you can export out import in bring your meshes back in uh, render them up get them out and it's this course is to give you the full picture rather than a snapshot on a particular thing you need to do so it's a good starter beginner course because it gives you the fundamentals of real flow and then if this is a popular course of course i will produce more complex uh, dynamic simulations if it becomes popular and people really like the real flow course it at the time of this course being released um, it's now the 9th of February 2017 this is the only course on Udemy that is producing dynamic particle effects so you know either people aren't interested in it or it's too complex for people to get their heads around so they're not producing those courses I tend to I'm an all-rounder so I do uh, 3d I do a bit of everything really so I do use uh, dynamic simulations in my work so I thought well I'll just throw a course out there see how it gets on it's it's absolutely amazing this program and uh, yeah just have a look at the um, the sort of demo before that water flowing around it's used all over the um, in the film industry and uh, in adverts and things like that so very cool um, piece of software yeah just uh, find out about it and um, yeah just watch these previews if you think yeah this is the sort of thing I want to be doing then think about getting uh, real flow uh, the difference between real flow 2014 and 15 um, there isn't a lot of difference between the software packages uh, what I'm teaching here is principally the same has been the same for the last sort of five or six years so um, there is the uh, added thing of using things like hybrido but I don't cover that in this course so we'll cover it into in future courses um, if there's a demand for the real flow course